Hi, this is Ruby, the Texas Queen of Real Estate. And today we're going to talk about if you're a seller, how to be smart during a multiple offer situation. When you start the process of selling your home, you have to make a shift in your perception. This is business. You're selling a product in a large, larger market that will dictate much of your decisions. You can choose to ignore the market, but to do so is risky and the decisions that most people end up regretting. There are many risks of pricing your home too high. The most important being the fact that you will sell it for less than if you were just priced it appropriately to begin with. Why home buyers don't make offers on overpriced listings? They don't want to offend the seller. It goes against human nature to offer substantially less than asking price to the seller. It's insulting to the seller and embarrassing for the buyers. Buyers erroneously believe that the seller knows the home is overpriced. They believe that if a, if a seller would be willing to sell it for less, the seller would simply lower her price. Buyers also assume that the seller must have turned down lowball offers from other buyers because surely someone somewhere along the line had offered a reasonable price to the seller. But many times there's no offers at all. So you definitely want to make sure you don't put yourself in a position where we're hearing crickets and no offers are coming in. How to get those multiple offers and choose the right one? Now we're talking business. If you're dreaming of a quick sale, listen to your realtor, that's me, regarding the current market value and pricing the home. You're actually more likely to get multiple offers if you price the house correctly than if you were to overprice it. Buyers may be willing to pay more than asking price, but they want it to be their move and based on other buyers also placing bids. Most buyers will run away from any bidding more if they think you already overpriced the house. Look at each offer carefully. Not all are created equal. Just because someone offers a few thousand more doesn't mean their offer is the one to pick. Things like being pre-qualified, the type of loan, can affect how solid the offer is. Another thing to weigh in is if the buyer has to sell their home before you can purchase yours versus the buyer who can close in 30 days. So there's many aspects of the contract that can be pros, cons, and we can dive through and look through all that to make sure that you are selecting the right offer. Let your, still, let your real estate agent advise you which is really the best offer. If you have any additional questions about multiple offers, feel free to reach out to me. My information is located below and I'm happy to answer any questions. This is Ruby Miranda, the Texas Queen of Real Estate, and I look forward to talking to you again.